Hey Scrubs, this is going to be the build video to accompany the very first episode of Fallout 4 Minuteman Conqueror or Minuteman Supremacy. Oh my god, when you record directly in uh, Premiere Pro, Adobe, it loops the audio back so you can hear your own voice. It's very strange. Okay, so here you can see I'm in the mod configuration menu for Workshop Plus. I'm just rebinding a few things such as uh, copy and paste. So I like to have a cloning tool available. Um, it just makes it easier. If I, if I want another copy of a wall, I don't have to go through three or four levels of menus to get back to it. So I knew I wanted to use Snappy Builds. It's got some really nice sets in there that you can use that are vanilla friendly, but they haven't got um, equivalents in the base game. So it's just a lot of buildings that you'll see around the Commonwealth that aren't actually buildable. Snappy Builds is awesome. It's got all these shell kits. Um, I like making different houses with this kit and then putting interior residential units from sub settlements inside them. I'm probably gonna have to speed this video up because I'm one of those people that will spend a very long time fiddling and twitching. As you can see here, I'm trying to work out how do I want this to look? Now, let me just fast forward the footage a little bit because otherwise we're gonna be here for a very long time. Okay, so it's on two and a half times speed. Um, we'll see, this is sort of a test video. I've never really done a, a full build like this, so we'll see what people think. You can see me using the clone tool there. It's very, very handy. However, what I didn't realize when I was building was I usually build with free build mode, so you have unlimited resources. If you have a look at my supplies, when I go to build anything else, I'm nearly out of concrete and I didn't notice. So yeah, those cloning those walls nearly bankrupts me uh, in the concrete department. Here I'm just having a look at how big I need this house to be for an interior plot for Sim Settlements. You can see the kit here that the beautiful corner pieces. It just, it makes things a lot easier, especially for someone like me that likes to build a lot and make everything look kind of different. Um, I imagine there are lots of people when Fallout came out like me, I just built box shacks and they looked dreadful. I love how these sets have corner pieces. It just looks uniform, it looks beautiful. There we go. And when am I gonna work out that I've got hardly any concrete? There we go, so look, I've got enough for one more wall, thank God. And then I'm like, oh, why can't I build any? Why can't I build any more concrete? <sighs> so usually um, one or two of these window uh, walls would have window pieces because I'm out now. We're quite limited with this first house, but it's okay. It means that as this series progresses, I can tweak the buildings and change them up a little bit. Here we go, I want, I knew I wanted something on the outside. This is perfect for now until we get some of those industrial pieces or the resources from anyway. Snapping this thing in was a little bit of a ball ache. Um, I need things to look perfect. If people are wondering how I'm twitching it, uh, is that Workshop Plus? I think it might be. It lets you rotate pieces, shift them, scale them. It's, it's an essential mod. Um, God, I hope that's the right one. Otherwise it's embarrassing. Yeah, I just wanted to give this house a little bit of character because it's currently a concrete block right now. Put these little stairs in, little cuties. Um, I might do a porch for this build at some point. I'm just gonna shift the whole building over a little bit because what I really wanna do now is have a walkway that goes at the middle and some other buildings. There we go, is that uniform? Absolutely fucking not. You can see the ASAM clipping through on the right. Um, best thing you can do is strip down the, the plot and rebuild it if that's the case, because you shouldn't move them after placing them. Naughty retro, slap on the wrist. Uh, what am I doing here? Twitching, twitching, and scrapping it and replacing it. And here we go. 
So I'm currently looking for something that I can use as a walkway piece. Not sure. I think what I might do is something similar to this building is place something down, like maybe something. Um, oh, here I'm just having a look if it's got snap points to the building. It does, but for some reason it doesn't snap the way I'd like it to. Um, so I'm just going to use Workshop Plus to just shift this up and push it into the building a little bit. There we go. Now, the walkway. Um, I quite like the idea of doing it with wood and then maybe in a couple of episodes when we've got some resources and settlements, maybe rebuild it with other pieces. As you can see, it doesn't snap to the concrete build from Snappy Builds. So we're going to have to use a bit of uh, just best judgment, really. So I'm going to place these down. Do they look all right? No, it's deviant at the end. There we go. Because what I'd like to do is get three or four buildings out of this area um, and have a walkway that lets you sort of go through them, kind of like a rat run, in case I build vertically and put extra residential units on a, on a next level um, and have like a catwalk area upstairs. I like to make things very compact and vertical. This is supposed to be a post-apocalypse after all, chaps. Okay, so we can see it, that's snapping. What, I, I saw an excellent looking guard post um, in one of Cordless's builds for the front of Sanctuary and it was using these box house pieces, but I wanna use it for a uh, residential plot interior. And have a guess, if you want, drop it in the comments predictions on who these two houses are for. I'll show you before the end of the video, I'll tell you what I mean. But have a guess at who's gonna live in these two houses. One's lovely and luxurious, and the other is essentially a boxcar that's been cut up by Sturgis. So these pieces are awesome. I've never really built um, with these boxcar pieces. I know the, the base game has the industrial set that you can use, they're okay. Uh, but this is just a bit more, there are different um, different pieces that you can use, whereas the, the vanilla one is essentially just a box car and then you can put a wall on it or leave it. I like this because I can customize it a little bit. We've got sort of like a drop window. It's just quite nice. And seeing as we're essentially in like a, a desert commonwealth, this works for me. Master plan, what a great set. That's what she said. Look at those fence pieces. I want to use those, maybe incorporate those in the future. Um, looking for something to use as stairs here. That's not going to fly. That looked quite good. There we go. So now it needs a residential plot. Let's chuck that in there. There we go. Oh. Obviously, this is sped up quite a bit, but Jesus Christ, you can imagine the amount of time I'm spending just placing these things down. That wall on the right, you know, that concrete wall, that brick wall, I'd love to stick something on there. Just like a big pipe or hanging, just something to give it a bit of character, make it look less, um, just like a cube. A bit sticking out of it. And here he goes. CBC, Dead Wasteland. Is that what it's called? Oh, God. Fuse box generator. I like this. Put this on the side and then use connectors to power both. You need power for Sim Settlements plots. Not all of them. It's not agriculture, but this one requires it. I'm also having a look at some effects because I like to have effects coming out of pipes and things like that. But th there's one particular effect I have in mind. I can't remember what mod it's from. And when I find it, it's a fire mod, a smoke mod. When I find it, I'll be using it for a lot of my buildings. They'll have chimneys and things like that. It's great for FPS. Gives you GPU a real workout. Okay, so the nothing really mattress, mattress is going to be stuck on the front of this little house. Um, I spent an absolute age trying to rotate it in the correct way for it to lean up against the the building 
but um, I think my workshop plus is bugged out slightly because none of the shortcuts are working currently. Um, I think I've just sweated the poor bastard too hard. You can see me pressing all the hotkeys trying to work out how I can resolve this issue. Um, come on. Yeah, you can see the EMB menu's popping up when it should be sinking it back into the wall. So, sod it. I love having this fuse box here. Oh, there we go, it's working. I love having the fuse box there and the connector that's not the normal connector. The normal connector just looks like a pointy nipple. Dice said it. Uh, this has power coming in. I've shifted this slightly, so I'm going to put in a new plot. There we go. I'm just super OCD. I don't want to come home from questing and Mama Murphy's turned into a bloody super mutant because I didn't place down the plot properly. Properly. Here we go. Choose building plan. One of my favorite parts. Um, this is a bit of a shithole, so I think we're going to go with one of the Slumlord picks. The letters next to it, in parentheses, uh, signify how you can path into it. So the nav meshes, for example, um, left entrance, right entrance, right front, left front, back right, back left, back sack and crack. Okay, now... Yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, am I going to place down the agricultural plot? I've got extra objects selected. Don't start deleting that shit because then your pre combines go to shit. Absolute shite, mate. What I do want is a little camp area just for us until we can get some more buildings down. So I really fancied a little, kind of like a little tent area just for, for a lot of people. Um, and we might build for this. I quite like it. Kind of like a slummy just temporary housing area um i really like some of these as well oh baby that's the one here we go windbreakers we got a little tent there let's put some beds in the cv cvc tent at uh, bed yeah there we go look at that that is sexy just a mattress up on some boxes i'm loving that that is really nice yeah i'm just chucking in some some random mattresses going down here and so, look at this. It's a sheet with a pillow. That's for June, little cuck. Um, and then a doghouse. Little cutie. Aww. Put that by here. Okay, excellent. Uh, FPS, come back to me. So we've got the two houses, and I now realize that it's twitching like hell. Let me just stop that for a sec. Never mind. We'll let it roll i didn't realize i was still building so we need i already know this you already know this we need water defense and food so we're gonna put down a temporary guard post uh like i said earlier this area i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it as a sort of slum area and build a slum around this center area of sanctuary or tear it down and rebuild or build on top of it later there's a little guard post there. I'm also going to put a turret in. Um, just having a look. We can get like guard dogs from CBC. That's so cool. Let's put in a turret post here. And a little turret on top of it. Now, my scaling button is not working. It keeps calling up the EMB menu, as you'll see. So I'm trying to scale it down a bit. So it's a mini turret, but it's not working. Um, so next time I boot the game up, that's what I'll be doing. Thank God this is sped up. I'm going to spend a bit of time shifting this around. So, this is what Sanctuary is currently looking like. It's quite compact. Uh, we need the water, but we have got that little, little tank. I also want some of these. I think they're so thematic. Little pump. Okay, now, I need food. Um, right now, we've got no food. We can assign someone to those funky fucking melons. But... Um, I want to put a uh, Sim Settlements plot in. Let's get rid of that oil lamp. Oh, there are a few uh, fake light, fake lights that we'll see in the Commonwealth, and they drive me fucking crazy. Try to click on the box. Right. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Blast, 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 blast. Because of the more spawns, uh, these are awesome because they're like an actual infestation of bloat flies. There's fucking loads of them. It's really cool. Okay, so we've got an agricultural plot down. Let's pick up that empty beer. What are we going to have here? 
Asa, this one's for you. Um, one of the boys in the Discord loves cats. We're going to have a cat farm for food. <laughs> oh, God. Stop laughing at my own jokes. That's so embarrassing. Um, yes, yeah, so this is going to be a cat farm. We're going to get Mama Murphy, raising kitties, and chopping them up for dinner. And that is essentially, guys, the build for for Sanctuary um, as we are currently. Obviously, I'm going to expand on this. And this is going to be a superior room, by the way. So it's going to be like a snazzy hotel room. Um, for some reason, it doesn't auto-assign the settlers. So I'm going to put them in. Those people that are wondering who are living in those two buildings, the nice one, Marcy. She's a spiteful bitch. And I'm into it. The little cuck shack is for June. They don't live together anymore. Not since June became a professional crybaby. <laughs> Get over yourself, June. Um, yeah, that's essentially it for, for this build video. I'm just going to assign these people to the buildings. Uh, as I said, it didn't auto-assign for whatever reason. Usually it'll auto-assign them, but I need to do it myself. And what that will do is start construction on these sites. There we go, Mama Murphy, bring in the kitties. Breakfast kitty, lunch kitty, dinner kitty. Who doesn't like the dinner kitty? I gotta stop having caffeine in the morning. So yeah, that's the sanctuary build. I hope you guys liked it. Um, never read really anything like this. Maybe it's boring as fuck. Maybe people find it interesting. Um, I don't know, let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, Fallout Friday. So next Friday, there'll be a new Fallout video. Very excited for this. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, shut up already. Jesus Christ. Peace.